There it is, zero. Okay. We're going to graph the circle with uh, completing the square, by completing the square. And so to do that, you split, you get your x's together first. So x squared um, minus 4x uh, and y squared plus 6y. Got too many things running. Plus 6y. Um, and I'm going to move the 4 to the right. So equals a negative 4. So I minus the 4 from both 5. Okay, and the reason you do that is so that we can go ahead and complete the square on the x's and on the y's. So if you remember completing the square, you take your middle term and divide it by 2 and square it. So uh, negative 4 divided by 2 squared would be 4. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 squared is 4. So we're going to add 4 here. And you also go ahead and add it on the other side. So I'm going to rewrite this so that I've got some room to work. So plus 4 plus y squared plus 6y plus, we're going to add something here, and it equals negative 4, and we've added a plus 4. So I added a 4 here, and I have to add it on the other side of the equation to keep the equation balanced. Okay, <clears throat> then your next step is to divide your middle term by 2 with the y's. So 6 divided by 2 squared, uh, kind of off to the side. And so that's uh, 9. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So you're going to add 9 here and add 9 here. And so now we've got this equation. x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared plus 6y plus 9 equals negative 4 plus 4 plus 9 would equal 9. So we do all of that simply so that I can factor this part and factor this part. Now, minus plus is minus minus, and so we really like looking like this here so far. 4 breaks into 2 and 2. And so x minus 2, x minus 2 is x minus 2 squared. The y squared plus 3, this is plus plus. Yep, so it would be 3 and 3, right? So y plus 3 squared. And you have your circle. It was a circle before, but now it's a circle where you can find the center. So what's the center? Positive 2 and negative 3. So it's your signs coming out. And what's that? Um, for right now, I'm just going to tell you, it's, uh, they're inside parentheses, so you're setting them to 0, basically. So x minus 2 equals 0. So you'd add 2 and... There's another reason, but I don't have time to do that. So yeah, set these to zero. I forgot you're gone. Okay, and your radius is three. Because it's the square root of nine. Because it's the square root of nine. So then you graph. So um, so your center is two negative three, and your radius is three. And. And so you're ready to go, um, what did I say, 2 and negative 3 would be right there with a 3. Hard to see, but when you go online, you'll be able to see it. And there's your circle. And you're done.